we do not only detect the vehicles but we are detecting also this car right here that it's not even that so visible this like tiny car right there also this red car far far away uh, it, it's working extremely extremely well hi welcome to this new video tutorial my name is Sergio and I help company students and freelancers to is and efficiently build visual recognition projects. We're going to see today an object counting project, more specifically an uh, vehicle counting project from images. Uh, let me show you something. I have a folder where I have a lot of images, where well, not a lot, I have maybe 10 or 20, I don't know, but I have a few images and I want to automatically count how many vehicles are on each image and then also the total of the vehicles of the entire folder. Um, I'm just going to open some random image just to give you a look how the vehicles look like. So for example, we have one, two, three, four, uh, four cars in this one. Then let's go to the next image with two cars. One, two, okay, this is uh, one, two, three, four, and so on. So how do we proceed? We will make, uh, first of all, an object detection project where we will be able to detect and surround with a box uh, all the vehicles on each single image. And then by using this object detection script, we will also loop through all the images and in real time we will make a counting of all the vehicles. But before starting, I want to let you know that there is a contest regarding vehicle counting from a drone footage. This contest is organized by Murtaza's workshop and I will give you more information at the end of the video. So keep till the end, keep, keep watching till the end and let's start. Uh, if you're new to computer vision, don't worry, everything will be simple to follow. Just remember that you need the library OpenCV that you can install with this command. So first of all, let's open the terminal, cmd. And this will work similar on Ubuntu and Mac as well for the installation of the library. pip install OpenCV-Python and you press enter. I'm not going to do that because I have it already. Then second, you need to download some files. I will put the link to download the files on the description below because I have created these files to make things more simple. And these right here are the files. Also, there, there are the images that I'm using if you want to use my images, but I recommend to use your own images. So for all these files, there will be a link below. We have DNN model, which will include the files for the deep learning model to detect the vehicles. Vehicle detector is a file I've created. I can show you just to make things really simple to extract uh, the coordinates of the vehicles. There is no need that now you know this. It will be really simple. Just follow along uh, with what I am doing. That there will be vehicle counting, which is the script that I'm coding right now. So let's start. First of all, we're going to import CV2, which is the open CV library that we will use uh, to load the images and to extract some information. Uh, now let's start by loading just one image. We have a lot of images, but to make things simple, let's start with only one. So I'm going first of all, so to define EMG equals CV2 dot read to read the image and then images. Now let's take only one image. I take this one. So we're pretty much putting just the path of the image that we want to download. So this is the name of the image and then JPG. How do we make sure that we're loading the image correctly? There is no better way to show the image. CV2.imshow. Uh, we can go this, whatever we want, cars. It's the name of the window and then what do we want to display? We want to display EMG. 
Now, this will be enough to load the image to show it, but we need to remember to use a wait key event to keep the image on hold. Otherwise, it will open the image and then the, the code finishes the execution and the image gets closed. So we need a wait key event for that reason. Wait, cv2.wait key, zero to keep the image on hold. And now let's run this one. If we see this, it's correct. If we don't see, there is some error whatsoever. Okay, here we have uh, the image with the cars. Now, what is the first goal? The first goal is to detect the, the vehicles and surround them with a box. For that specific reason, we are going to import the file vehicle detector, which is a Python file, which is on the same folder. So we can do from uh, vehicle detector, import uh, vehicle detector. Mm, now let's hear load vehicle detector. So we imported the file, but we need to load the object to uh, use it later. So we can call this v, VD, which stands abbreviation of vehicle detector equals vehicle detector. And that's pretty much what we have to do. Now, how do we detect the vehicles that are on the image? It's so simple that you have no idea. We can just do, um, we can say vehicles, uh, vehicle boxes equals vd dot detect vehicles. Where do we want to detect the vehicles? We want to detect them on EMG. So I'm going to copy EMG right here. That's it. That's all we have to do for vehicle detection. Now, um, of course, uh, let's run this one and later I will show you something. So I'm going to run this just to make sure that everything runs smoothly and that we don't have any error and we load the image, we don't have any error. Now, how do we know that we are detecting correctly the vehicles? Well, uh, we have these vehicle boxes, which uh, from which we, you can understand that here we have some box about vehicles. So the box will be the coordinates, which uh, indicates the position of the vehicle. So let's print vehicles boxes. And now we should get at least two boxes, which are the biggest vehicles on the screen. I'm not sure if there is anything behind them, behind these cars, but probably we have one box, two boxes, three so we have a few of them probably okay also because we have vehicles behind these cars which are some uh, somewhat visible and they can be detected uh what you see here is an array inside an array we use numpy array uh the only thing that you need to understand is that here we have coordinates these coordinates define the position of each car we have the X and Y position, the first two numbers. So X and Y is the top left point. So for example, if this will be of this uh, black car, it will be this top left point right here. Then we have width 660, so width and then height. So let's take this information and let's use it. So we're going to loop through them for box in vehicle boxes now let's extract the information x y width and height from box now that we have these coordinates we can of course display them cv2 dot rectangle because the box is just a rectangle we want to draw the rectangle uh, we want to draw the rectangle on, where do we want to draw the rectangle on EMG? Uh, by the way, these are all simple operations. If you're not familiar with OpenCV, it might seem all difficult, but it takes just a few lessons to learn all of this. So I recommend that you, uh, you check on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of other videos about OpenCV and also I keep uploading new videos. So uh, if you want to stay updated, follow the channel rectangle c2 rectangle emg now what do we need about the rectangle we know of course to know the coordinates where we are going to put the rectangle 
and we OpenCV we need two coordinates. The first one is the top left point. So if it's of this car, we will need this point, top left, top left, X and Y. And then we need the right bottom point. The right bottom point will be the, op the opposite extreme point. So we will have X plus width and then Y plus height. Now, another thing that we need to define is the color. What color do we want to show this box? Oh, it doesn't really matter. We can put like some red color. How do we decide a color? We, it's the mixture of the three primary colors. First one is blue from zero to 255. How much blue do we want? Let's put around 25. How much green do we want from zero to 255? We don't want any green, mostly we want red. Let's put 180 of red. And finally, the thickness. How thick do we want the rectangle? Let's make it three pixels thick. And now, let's run this one. And as you see, here we have the detection, which is working like in extremely well. We do not only detect the big vehicles, but we are detecting also this car right here that it's not even that so visible. This like tiny car right there. Also this red car far, far away. Uh, it, it's working extremely, extremely well, this uh, vehicle detection. Now we have, okay, we are detecting the vehicles and that, that's the first step. But my project is about object counting. So how do we count the object? Well, let's that's even more simple than what we're doing right now. It's to count the objects, we can just say uh, vehicle, vehicle count equals is the length of vehicle boxes. So to know the number, we can just, uh, let's display this on the, uh, on the screen. See to dot put text. Let's put on EMG, let's put the text on, uh, let's put the number, so vehicles, uh, vehicles, and here we put plus the string of what? Of vehicle count. As simple as that. Now we need some information about the text. Where do we want to put the text? Let's put the text on the top left. So we say just around uh, 20 pixels from the left and let's say 50 pixels from the top. Then see if it to, um, now we need to define the font. I'm going to, um, to use zero. So we have different type of font. If you put zero, you have the first font, one, the second, three, and so on. Uh, I don't really care about the font now. We want just to display some information as simply as possible and as soon as possible. Size of the text, let's say two color of the text let's make it let's make it blue or green let's put both of them so 100 of blue uh, okay probably it's, it will not be well visible okay whatever 200 and a zero and thickness of the text let's say three and let's check what we are getting right now with this okay not so bad so we have vehicles count right here at the top we see eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Working really well. And this is the first part of the project that we're detecting the vehicles on an image. Now, how do we do, uh, how do, we do this for multiple images on one folder? Not a big deal. We take the folder, uh, simply we load the images from, all the images from the folder in a loop follow carefully. We have, we have the images on the folder images. So load images from a folder. So this is the uh, images folder. We have the library which is called globe, import globe, which will allow us to load all the path of all the files in a specific folder. Uh, globe dot glob 
so let me glob dot glob now we define the path images what do we want to load from images we want to load all the files so we we say all with asterisks dot uh, we can say dot jpg so all the files in jpg format you could say load all the files like dot asterisk load everything if you have also like different formats formats like jpgs pngs and so on but be aware that if you have also other file like text files it might be a problem so i, I recommend always to just select the specific images type and now let's print images folder and let's check if we're loading this correctly okay we see images we see the first image then we see the path of the second image uh, third image and so on once we have this it's uh, okay let me put the vehicle detector at the beginning not to mess things around once we have the image, what do we do? We do for EMG path in images folder. We put everything that uh, that's here below on the loop like this. And now instead of loading just the image with this specific path, we can load all the images. So let's print, for example, uh, EMG path and then EMG path. I'm going to run this so I can show you what we see to understand the idea. For example, this is the first image that we have. So EMG path, we have images, and then uh, this is the image. So we use this EMG path on imread, EMG path right here. And now let's load this again and let's see uh, like how we get the first image and what we display uh, here we have uh, an image we have vehicles four so we have one two three and four working really well even with really small vehicles as i showed before we're using a weight key event which is freezing the first image that we see so if i press a space bar now we see the second image we see now the third image. Okay, this is quite big. There is no space to fit the image on the screen, but there are two vehicles. So you can trust me, there are two vehicles. Let's go on the next one. Uh, we have 10 vehicles right here and so on. We're almost at the end of the project. If we wanted just to count all the vehicles that are on the folder, we will do this operation. Uh, um, right here on the loop so here we'll loop through all the images here we're processing the images one by one with the vehicle count of each single image we can make for example uh, image mm, vehicles folder count and we say zero so at the beginning we of course don't know uh, how many vehicles we have before looping through all the images. So we set right here, we start from zero. Each time that we find an image with new vehicles, we're going to increase this number. And that's how it will work. So we have vehicles for the count. We loop through the first image and then we have, uh, right here we get vehicle count and here we can update the total count. So update total count uh, once we updated total count vehicles vehicles folder count plus equals vehicle count and let's also show in in real time let's print this total count print total current count and uh, we see vehicles folder count. Oh, let's run this one right now. And let's see what we get. So we have total current count with four because here we have four images. 
we go to the next image which is, which we're processing right now so we have four plus six we have total current count is 10. we go to the next image vehicles two they are there even if we don't see there are vehicles on this image somewhere down below then we have total plus 10 we have total current count we have 22. now one thing that i'm going to do is we don't need to display each image like if we want just the total count at the end we i can for example put a comment on cv2 im show or even better we can use cv 2wait key one so instead of freezing the image we loop through the next one or but if you want you can just remove this or put a comment you don't need to display the boxes or the images Oh, I'm displaying them so that we know at, at which point we are at and we know that this is working so I'm not touching anything now it's looping image after image and it takes uh, one or two seconds depending on the speed of the computer to uh, process the image if you're just using a normal computer if you're using the graphic card it will be uh, really fast it will be at least 10 times faster I don't know what happened but I got some error which at some point I don't know I, I guess that at some point it was trying to load an image that doesn't exist probably um, I didn't get to the end for some reason but that's uh, I, I will now solve the problem uh, I don't know what it is but that's how it needs to be done uh, okay, I guess I found out the error already. Uh, for what I see, there is some accent on this letter and I guess that uh, OpenCV can't read the image with this accent, which I don't know from which language this is, but I simply removed the accent. So instead of being A with the accent now, it's just a normal A and it, the problem should be now solved. I haven't tested this yet, so we're going to check together in real time if that was the error that wasn't allowing us to load the image correctly now let's wait till the end there are not many images so i guess it will take only a few more seconds to complete this operation okay it was this one that wasn't able to load and now it's loading the image so that was the error the accent so be aware where we have some letters with the accent that you might encounter some of these errors. It never happened to me before. By the way, you can see <laughs> that it's really precise even with, when there are a lot of cars and it's hard to detect. The, um, the deep learning model is doing an awesome job even when the car is not complete, when there is only half of the car we have the detection and we process the entire folder and you can see we have total current count we have 91 cars this is all for this project now let me remind you about the contest there will be a contest about vehicle counting from a drone footage the contest is organized and made by the famous channels Murtaza's workshop and I will have the honor to be a judge. We've also, uh, there will be another judge, which is Ritesh from Augmented Startup. So we'll have the honor to uh, take part with the two most popular channels on YouTube about computer vision. For the contest, I'm going to leave you the link below. You can submit your own project and there will be special prizes for the winners. This is all for this tutorial. I want to remember you that I will be uploading new content uh, soon. So I, I suggest that you keep in touch, keep updated with the channel. So see you on the next video.